Some developers of Lineage OS have been very busy as of late with many new devices being added. I know I have been waiting for an official build for the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, also known as the Poco F2 Pro, and even the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition. These all have the code name LMI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the official Lineage OS custom ROM on this device. Now we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. Mainly this includes having the bootloader unlocked. If you have not unlocked the bootloader to this device already, be sure to look in the video description below as I'll have a link to a previous tutorial that I've done that shows you exactly how to unlock the bootloader. Now once you have that done, we can go ahead and download both the ROM file as well as the recovery image for this build. We're going to want to make sure that we are downloading the latest version that's available. And again, we're downloading the ROM file as well as the recovery image. I'll be showing you how to both flash the recovery image as well as sideload the ROM in Lineage OS Recovery. But if you're familiar with Lineage OS and installing custom ROMs and you already have a custom recovery installed, I know I've already shown you how to install a custom recovery. I believe it was Orange Fox. But if you've already done that, if you want, you can simply flash the file in your custom recovery. However, I'm going to be showing you the complete official install method. So I'll be showing you how to both flash the Lineage OS recovery as well as how to flash the ROM afterward. But again, before we can be, even begin any of that, you need to have the bootloader unlocked already. Once all of that is done, you have the downloads ready, you have the bootloader unlocked, we can turn this device off so that we can boot the phone into fast boot mode. And there are many ways that we can boot into fast boot mode. If you wanted to, you could connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable while it was booted up and do an ADB reboot fast boot command if you wanted. I just did the button combination, which again, I've shown how to do in previous tutorials. So if you're not familiar with how to boot the phone into fast boot mode, look in the video description and I'll be linking to all of the required tutorials there. With this done and the phone in fast boot mode now, we're going to flash that Lineage OS recovery. So we need to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. And again, if you haven't done so already, we also need to have ADB and fast boot tools installed on our PC because we need to open up either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So here we have the files that I recently downloaded, Lineage OS recovery image and the Lineage OS zip file. Remember these need to be in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And we're going to open up a PowerShell within that same folder. When you're ready, we're going to type out the command fast boot space flash space recovery space and then the name of the file that we're flashing. So when we look here, we're going to be flashing the recovery image first. So we need to type out this command in this or this file name. We need to type out that file name in this command. And what you can do, what most operating systems can do, is you can start typing out the name and then press the tab button 
to auto complete. So what we have here is the command fast boot space flash space recovery space and then the file name that we're flashing. In this instance it's lineage OS, the timestamp date, the fact that it's a recovery, the code name, and our image file. We're flashing the image file to the recovery partition. Once you have all of that typed out, we can press enter on the keyboard. As long as your bootloader is unlocked, as long as the phone is in fast boot mode and everything is set up properly, you're gonna see both fast boot sending that image to the recovery partition and then it's going to write that image to the recovery partition. come across an issue like this where it looks like you're getting stuck, it may benefit you to unplug the phone, replug it in, and even try to reboot back into fastboot mode to try to execute that command again. This time I made sure that the connection was stable. Again, I unplugged the phone, I plugged it back in, I restarted the phone, and booted it right back into fastboot mode. Remember, we're looking for two OK messages for both sending that file to recovery partition as well as writing that file to recovery partition. We want an OK message on both of those. After we have two OK messages, we need to reboot the phone and instantly boot over into recovery mode. We're gonna do this by pressing and holding the power button for about seven to 10 seconds. And as soon as we see the screen go black, we're gonna let go of that power button, and then we're gonna press the button combination that boots us into recovery mode. So last time we booted into fast boot mode by pressing the power and volume down button, this time, our button combination is going to be the power and volume up button. And remember, this needs to be done quickly. We need to boot directly into recovery mode. If we end up booting back into Android, Android has a tendency to overwrite our custom recovery, which means that Lineage OS recovery will no longer be installed, and you'll have to repeat all of this all over again. So we're going to press the power button to turn the device off. As soon as the screen goes black, we're letting go. We're pressing the power and volume up buttons. We're continuing to hold those two buttons through that POCO screen. And if you see the phone reboot, it's likely that we let go of the buttons at a different time. And what actually happens is we select the reboot system option whenever we let go, buttons go differently. So you want to try to let these buttons go right when you see the POCO splash screen go away so that it boots right into this recovery. This is not the stock recovery. You can see it looks a lot different. Instead, this is lineage OS recovery. So we can navigate through this menu either with the hardware buttons or using the touch screen. But, but the first thing that we need to do is do a factory data reset because we need to format data. It's a little bit different than a factory reset, but we tap the factory reset option to get into the format data slash factory reset option. You're gonna get a confirmation screen here. Are you sure you want to format data? This is going to wipe all of the information we have on the phone. So if you have not done a backup yet, go ahead and reboot back into Android, perform your backup, and then get back here so that we can format data. You can see that at the bottom, formatted the data partition, the cache partition, and the metadata partition. 
and then it takes us back to the factory reset screen, which we're going to tap the back arrow up here to go back to the main menu screen. This is required because we need to remove encryption so that whenever we install our custom ROM, it installs and enables a different level of encryption, one that we can actually decrypt since we now have the keys for it. Now that we have formatted the data partition and we're back at the main screen, we are then going to flash the custom ROM. And we're going to do that with the ADB sideload command that we get after we tap the apply update option. This brings us to another option where we're going to apply from ADB. And that puts us puts our device into what I call ADB sideload mode. That means our device is ready to accept an ADB sideload command. So we can now connect our phone back to the PC with a USB cable if you have unplugged yours. And we're going to send the custom ROM file with the ADB sideload command mentioned right here at the bottom. So we have our POCO F2 Pro connected to the PC with a USB cable. It is in ADB sideload mode as I just showed. And we're going to be typing out the command ADB space sideload space and then again whatever the file name was. So I can just start typing out lineage press tab and then look at the file name. If it matches our Lineage OS zip file, then we know that file name is correct. You can also rename this file to something like rom.zip so that it is much easier to type out in this ADB sideload command if you want. Come over the tab autocomplete feature seems to make that fairly, fairly useless since we can just type out the Lineage OS file name and then press tab to autocomplete. Once we have the ADB sideload command typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. Again, make sure your USB cable connection is secure or you may get some errors like you see here. However, once we execute this command properly, you should see a countdown timer start to appear here. And we're just going to wait patiently while this file is sent to our phone. As you can see with the serving message right here, it's sending that file. And it's fairly common for this to get stuck or stop at 47% as we start to get information on our POCO F2 Pro. So as soon as that percentage hit 47%, we started to get more data right here. At the time, it was only set to finding update package. Once that hit 47%, the phone was then able to verify that update package. As it started to decrypt the files, then it begins to actually flash the required files. It goes starts by patching the system image, then it goes to patching the vendor image, the product image, and this whole time we're just going to wait patiently. We're waiting for the Lineage OS recovery to finish flashing all of the required files in that zip file that we sent. And we don't even really need to look at the screen anymore. You may be told that the total transfer is 1x and that it is completed. But we're gonna we want to look here instead. We don't want to look at the computer anymore. We want to look here and make sure that we get a script succeeded message right here. Once we see that, we can tap the back arrow to go back. Now we're just going to tap the reboot system now option. And once all of that is done and we're rebooting the phone, we can also unplug the USB cable 
from our device. It should take only a few seconds before we start to see the Lineage OS boot animation. And it should take us right into the Android activation screen too. I'm just going to skip through most of this. So that we can quickly boot into Lineage OS. So from here, Lineage OS is fully installed and you can start using your phone as normal. However, you likely want to install Google Apps. So you can download a Google Apps package. It needs to be supported by Android 11. I'll be including a link in the video description below. And if you want, you're going to need to install that just how we installed the custom ROM. So you're going to need to put that gapps zip file in your ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. You're going to need to boot the phone into recovery mode, which again is Lineage OS recovery. And you need to go into ADB sideload mode, just like how we installed the ROM, except this time we're going to be ADB sideloading the Google Apps package. The exact same way with the same ADB sideload command. Once that's installed, we can reboot back into Android, and you're going to have Google Apps, your Google Play Store, and all of that, just how you would expect. But that is how to install the Lineage OS custom ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, again also known as the Poco F2 Pro. If anyone's interested in me doing a quick look video on this ROM, be sure to let me know in the comment section below.